بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم triple protocols so triple uses multiple protocols in general like first we'll talk about device administration so by default let's say the user is trying to access a device remotely maybe a router maybe a switch or any other device and generally he'll be using either telnet or ssh protocols for remote access or if he is trying to access the device via graphical interface probably he'll be using http or https so the protocol which is used for device access between between your end user or the end device and the authenticated device any of these protocols and between the client or the triple client we call it as and the server so we'll be using either radius protocol or the tex protocol and these protocols are responsible for forwarding the client information to the to the server and getting back Uh, the authentication response or authorization or accounting information back on the onto this device so we'll talk about more about radius and tacax in our next next slide presentations so likewise for the network access separate protocols are used like again the network access like uh, maybe a guest user or maybe an account user is trying to connect to the network or uh, maybe he is connecting to a switch let's say like like you can say the supplicant here or maybe a user connecting to a wifi network to an access point so the communication between these two devices is done with the help of eap protocol extensible authentication protocol over lan encapsulated over lan and the communication between the authenticator and the authentication server is done again with the help of radius or tacax protocols so radius is widely used for network access, uh, network access and device administration we commonly use tacax protocols so again it can be eap over lan or web access or maybe if you're using vpns remote vpns or any kind of vpns if the user is connecting through a vpn to any vpn gateway like a router or the asn so probably they'll be using ssl vpns or ssl protocol or ic ic protocols in general So these options leads to VPN, but within the LAN specifically, they will be using EAP over over LAN. Now the two protocols which are used between the authenticator and the server, or we can say the triple S client and the server, we can either use Radius or Tacax. Now Radius is an IT standard for triple S, defined in the RFC two eight six five. So this is commonly used for network access. Like when the user wants to connect to the network, he must be authenticated, authorized, and and also we need some accounting for the network access. Uh, we we commonly use ADS for that. Uh, it it actually combines uh, authentication and authorization in one single step, and uses port numbers either sixteen forty five forty six. Uh, forty five for accounting, forty six for sorry forty five for authentication and. 46 for accounting probably these are like legacy port numbers and currently you will be using 1812 or 1830 1812 for accounting and 1830 sorry 1812 for authentication and 1813 for accounting and by default radius is going to only hide the password by using md5 md5 algorithms but it will not encrypt the entire packet or the entire payload If you talk about Tacax protocol, Tacax protocol is uh, developed by Cisco Tacax Plus, which is an extension to the Tacax RFC with some enhancements. So Cisco added some enhancements and released with Tacax Plus. So Tacax is mainly used for device administration. If you are accessing the device remotely, either via telnet or SSH, we'll be using Tacax. and it uses tcp port number 49 between the client and the server so which made between these two devices of course between the between these two actually we use tacax and port number tcp 49 it uses and tacax communication will be encrypted completely means it, it's going to encrypt the entire payload okay so the only header will be in the clear text it's going to encrypt the entire entire payload Now these two are the protocols which are commonly used between the 
triplet client and the server or or between the authenticator and the authentication servers now now the question is which protocol actually suits or which protocol do i use in general now for commonly device administration if you are using telnet or ssh we commonly use tecax and for network access we use radius so if the user want to access the network connect to the network before uh, and must be get, must get authenticated so in that case we use radius now the main reason of using this is like tecax if the user is trying to manage the device remotely first he has to log into the device by and where he is going to enter the username and the password so the first step he must get authenticated before he can execute the commands and after that you want to authorize the users like what commands he can execute what commands he cannot execute so as these two are two different steps and these two steps are actually combined in the radius so if you, if you go back to the radius you know okay so the so the radius is actually combining authentication authorization in one step so i just made this change in the slide which was this point was here so the main thing here is like authentication and authorization are two different steps so for device administration it has to be done separately which radius uh where radius combines these two steps at the same time so that's the reason we use tecax for device administration and it can also do some command authorization and command accounting which radius do not support command accounting and for network access we'll be using radius especially because radius is commonly used for network access and here the authentication and authorization can be can be done in one single step okay so because the radius supports something like eap over lan so if you want to connect the user within the lan before you access you want to authenticate before you access the resources in the lan we use eap over lan which tecax do not support so maybe in the future you know cisco come up with tecax supporting uh, these options in the future but generally for controlling the users from accessing the resources whether to wide or wireless or to vpn we generally use a radius protocol 